I recently took a board just like this and made this beautiful stretcher. Now obviously the first step when you have a board like this and you're trying to make this stretcher is to draw in the curve and rough out that shape. And I did that using my bandsaw. I drew in with chalk and pencil uh, the shape that I wanted and then went ahead, cut it out on the bandsaw and cleaned it up. The biggest challenge, however, is the fact that this board is anything but flat. Six feet tall, a uh, foot and a half wide, and it is crotch walnut. So I had a lot of twists to deal with when I was trying to make this stretcher flat. Uh, unfortunately, this uh, is wider than my joints are here, and so I had to pull out the hand planes. And my weapon of choice was the Lee Nielsen bevel up jack plane. Let me show you how I did it. I put a couple of winding sticks on the two ends of the board and here you can see just how much twist I have to deal with. It's about half an inch at both ends where those those high spots. Here you can see the board coming off of the bench by about that half inch here at this corner and also at the far corner. I used that and decided I need to remove about a half an inch of material. So I grabbed a scrap piece of wood and scribed a line using my bench as a reference surface. This will give me a flat line all the way around this board to work to. I flipped the board over, clamped it in place, and I'm ready to work. As I mentioned, I'll be using the Lee Nielsen Bevel Up Jack Plane with a toothed blade. I find this to be a great way to quickly remove material. The board's bouncing a little bit on the bench, so I grab a couple of shims wedge them in there so I have a nice flat uh, surface. The board is gonna stay nice and steady. And here we go. Make adjustments to the plane and start taking some shavings. Of course, I wanna work those high spots first. So I concentrate on the two corners first and then slowly work my way across and down the board. And here at the other end, again, working on that really high spot. I work both diagonally and straight across the grain. I like to always check my progress as I go. I work end to end diagonally and straight across the grain, which removes a lot of material quickly. I also use chalk to gauge my progress. Chalk up the whole board, work across, and then you can quickly see where the low spots are. Don't forget to sharpen the blade every time you feel it getting dull. Flip it around and let's put the winding sticks back on and check how we're doing. Getting pretty close, the winding sticks are lining up, but there's still a low spot you can see in the front right, and we're not quite there yet. Flip the board around, working the other way, again diagonally and straight across the grain. So let's go ahead and see how it turned out. There's still a little bit of a low spot. You can see a little blue chalk here and a blue chalk uh, right here at the very end. Uh, this is side uh, just plain. Obviously the other side still on the bench, still uh, really um, twisted. Let's flip it over and see how we did on this side. Pretty nice. Uh, it's not perfect all the way around, still maybe eighth of an inch off um, in some areas where those little low spots were. Um, but it's getting pretty darn close. So there it is, after all that hard work, a beautiful walnut stretcher. Six feet long, almost a foot wide with this beautiful curve to it. Little hand planing sanding, and this piece is ready to go in my project.